for today's video i'm going to be working on the stool right here every time i sit on the stool it always sinks in and that's because the top is made out of soft plastic i was going to just cut around wood and then put it on top and let it be but i could do something even better than that so i decided to just turn it into something much more stylish and presentable i'm going to be starting off by using leftover plastic sheets that i got from michael's craft store I'm going to be measuring the height of the stool on the plastic sheet so I can cut out the size that I need. Now for this entire project, I'm going to be using leftover pieces and I did not go to the store to buy anything. This is just a way of making good use of what I already have to amp up the look of a stool without spending money. I'll be making grooves on these boards to make it easier for me to fold them. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now I'm going to draw out a decorative pattern for the legs. I'm going to cut the shape out and repeat the same thing for the other one. I'll be using the same plastic sheet for the design that's going to be in between them. I'll be using duct tape to hold all the patterns together. I'll be using the tape at the front and at the back. I'll be using this blue crushed velvet fabric for the project and I'm going to cut it down to size using this awesome cutting tool that my hubby got for me some time ago. I highly recommend this cutting tool because it's so easy to use and it cuts neatly and it also saves time and energy. I use this cutting tool for my cardboard projects as well. I'll leave a link for this cutting tool down in the description box below. I glued the fabric to the cutout pieces using a hot glue gun. I made another one. Now I'm going to keep these pieces aside and figure out what shape is going to work for the top of my stool. 
I'll be using something much thicker and stronger for the top. I cut this piece of wood that I had at home down to size. Now I figured out that this is the shape that I want the stool to be, so I'm going to cut out the excess plastic that I have on the stool. I'll be covering this with foam and fabric. I'm going to be gluing this down to the stool. I use a thick piece of wood inside here to make it easy for me to attach the pieces that I just made to it. The design I made was not made with paper, it was made with plastic. The plastic that I used is really hard, but then it's super easy to cut out shapes from it, which makes it perfect for this project. Because instead of using wood, I used a hard plastic and attached it to an already existing stool. I'll be making the same pattern here, but much longer to attach them to these open sides. I'm going to hide the white legs that's visible with spray paint. I'll be using decorative thumbtacks to outline the pattern here. I have just one of this that I got from Walmart. It's not going to be enough. And I also have one from Joanne Fabric, which is still not going to be enough. So I've got two of these Amazon packs, which is quite cheaper because just a pack is going to cover up the whole thing. These are quite easy to use. Anywhere that has a stop, you just connect it with singular thumbtacks that have been provided in a separate pouch. In order for me to have curves here, I'm gonna have to bend what I have. I realize that using this will not give you a totally smooth finish. Unlike the one from Walmart, that is a very long trim. As you see here, I have attached it using a hot glue gun and a strong adhesive, and it's a very smooth and neat finish. The tack nails are going to be covered with little dabs of paint. The parts that have the pins that are showing are going to be covered with felt pads that are self-adhesive and after attaching them, I'm going to be covering them up with dabs of paint. Here's what my stool now looks like. 
It is so unique, so pretty and so different. I made another one with a different leftover fabric and this is what it looks like. And to think that all this started because I had a stool that the top was not strong enough and that led me to make something that's not just stronger but much more pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching i have other home decor diy videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button